Just got back from the pilgrimage in the Holy Land. Um, had a fantastic time there of, of being, being there for such an extended amount of time, uh, which gave us the opportunity to really fully enter into the experience, to pray at all these sites, um, to have mass at all these sites, and coming back, I have a, a strong picture in my mind of, of all of these um, sites from biblical history. The land itself is like a fifth gospel. The scriptures come alive. You hear Je about Jesus like going up into the hills and praying or finding lonely places in Galilee um, and praying. And we were able to do that. We spent um, five days in, uh, on a retreat in preparation for ordination to the diaconate. And that was just like really powerful because we're spending time in solitude where at the same places where, where Jesus would have spent time in solitude and, and prayed. And, and really they're also reflecting upon just the calling of the apostles that happened there. Preparing for the uh, transitional diaconate, this pilgrimage, this pilgrimage comes at a time when you are left with a lot to think about yourself and the mission you are going into. And in a special way, uh, I partnered that with the retreat we had about the, uh, John 21, that was where we focused, where, you know, Jesus calls on Peter and says, you know, come follow me. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? So those questions for me resonated first with myself in reference to what I'm preparing for, which is the diaconate. One of the things of, of the pilgrimage to Holy Land is that we go just with our class and we have nine weeks of possibilities to connect with, with our classmates, to get to know them, to um, experience uh, the beauty, of course. A couple of us had the idea, um, wanted us to bike around the Sea of Galilee. I'm always up for an adventure, so we went out and, and rented bikes uh, in Tiberias, and, and we thought, you know, kind of to get a full experience of what it would have been like you hear about Jesus going across the sea to the beyond uh, to all these different sites uh, and, and kind of thought well if we biked around it in a day we get a sense of, of what that's all like. You can't think about the gospel the same way as after you have gone through this experience of, uh, of eight weeks it becomes alive for you and then you can make it alive for your people as you go to the parish and as you give reflections, as you give homilies. I'd just like to say thank you uh, to all of the donors who make this pilgrimage possible year after year. Um, it's really an incredible, incredible opportunity that I can't uh, thank you or thank God enough for. Something that um, has definitely changed the way that I will pray with the Gospels and changed the way that, that I will live as, as a disciple um, and as a deacon and, and eventually uh, as a priest. And so it's something that is, has very much formed me and, and it's been a time of, of deep grace that, I, that we wouldn't be able to receive uh, without you and without your support. So thank you uh, very much for your prayers and, and, and support and, and everything you do for us.